Second Shemuel chapter 12 And Yahweh sent Nathan to Dawid, and he came to him, and said to him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceeding many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing except one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up, and it grew up together with him and with his children. It did eat of his own morsel, and drank of his own cup, and lay in his bosom, and was to him as a daughter. And there came a traveller to the rich man, and he spared to take of his own flock, and of his own herd, to dress for the wayfaring man that was come to him. But took the poor man's lamb, and dressed it for the man that was come to him. And Dawid's anger was greatly kindled against the man, and he said to Nathan, As Yahweh liveth, the man that hath done this is worthy to die, and he shall restore the lamb fourfold, because he did this thing, and because he had no pity. And Nathan said to Dawid, Thou art the man. Thus saith Yahweh the God of Yisrael, I anointed thee king over Yisrael, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Shaul. And I gave thee thy master's house, and thy master's women into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Yisrael and of Yehuda. And if that had been too little, I would have added to thee such and such things. For what reason hast thou despised the word of Yahweh, to do that which is evil in his sight. Thou hast smitten Uriah the Hitti with the sword, and hast taken his woman to be thy woman, and hast slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thy house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the woman of Uriah the Hitti to be thy woman. Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thy own house, and I will take thy women before thy eyes, and give them to thy neighbour, and he shall lie with thy women in the sight of this son. For thou didst it secretly, but I will do this thing before all Yisrael and before the sun. And Dawid said to Nathan, I have sinned against Yahweh. And Nathan said to Dawid, Yahweh also hath put away thy sin, thou shalt not die, howbeit, because by this deed Thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of Yahweh to blaspheme. The child also that is born to thee shalt surely die. And Nathan departed to his house, and Yahweh struck the child that Uriah's woman bare to Dawid, and it was very sick. Dawid therefore besought God for the child, and Dawid fasted, and went in, and lay all night upon the earth. And the elders of his house arose and stood beside him, to raise him up from the earth, but he would not, neither did he eat bread with them. And it was on the seventh day that the child died. And the servants of Dawid feared to tell him that the child was dead, for they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spoke to him, and he hearkened not to our voice. And how we shall say to him, The boy is dead, and he effectuate an evil. And when Dawid saw that his servants were whispering together, Dawid perceived that the child was dead. And Dawid said to his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, 
he is dead. Then Dawid arose from the earth and washed and anointed himself and changed his apparel, and he came into the house of Yahweh and worshipped. Then he came to his own house, and when he required, they set bread before him, and he did eat. Then said his servants to him, What thing is this that thou hast done? Thou didst fast and weep for the child while it was alive, but when the child was dead, thou didst rise and eat bread. And he said, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept, for I said, Who knoweth whether Yahweh will not be gracious to me, that the child may live? But now he is dead. For what reason should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he will not return to me. And Dawid comforted Bathsheba, his woman, and went in to her, and lay with her, and she bare a son, and he called his name Shalomor, and Yahweh loved him. And he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called his name Yedidiyah, for Yahweh's sake. Now, Yoab fought against Rabbah of the children of Ammon, and took the royal city. And Yoab sent messengers to Dawid, and said, I have fought against Rabbah, yea, I have taken the city of waters. Now therefore gather the rest of the people together, and encamp against the city, and take it lest I take the city, and it be called after my name. And Dawid gathered all the people together, and went to Rabbah, and fought against it, and took it. And he took the crown of their king from off his head, and the weight thereof was a talent of gold, and in it were precious stones, and it was set on Dawid's head, and he brought forth the spoil of the city, exceeding much, and he brought forth the people that were therein, and put them under saws, and under harrows of iron, and under axes of iron, and made them pass through the brick kiln, and thus did he to all the cities of the children of Ammon, and Dawid, and all the people returned to Yerushalem.